dear Fred up these days. And he had now taken on a selling job as dangerous as any he had ever tackled. Mark, this is a bit of an unusual subject, this teller. Because I've only ever done one before and things didn't quite go right, you know, but I learned a lot. And uh, I think I'll have this one right, you know. We're going to undermine half of the tower, but all the staircase and everything, and prop it up on the sticks like we do with the chimney. And then set fire to it, you know what I mean? We've got everything calculated right. It's got to fall over. off to the moon and space and all and that. Look how many clangers they have. And that many clever fellas, you know, I mean, it's some sort of feeling. Somehow or other, this tower, it'll be right, this one. It'll be a good one, you know. Uh, 
We'll make the, the gap a bit bigger. Uh, uh, <laughs> make the gap a bit bigger, because did you see how they, how they went then, props? Shorter and shorter, you know, bent like, and they were a bit worrying, I think. I think next time about two foot six instead of you know, 18 inches or so. Uh, you know, they always do, you know. Be a brave man who can tackle one of them with a box of matches and not feel any worry, wouldn't you? <laughs> <laughs> they were in a bloody big heat now, isn't it? Right. Yeah, well, we're off to the pub. Huh? You want one of them, Rick? <laughs> 